Here's a story for you. Three times I have set off an alarm at a recording studio, a security alarm. Naturally, this was the first time. This goes back to the very early 2000s because I was intern at a studio managed by Ben Strano. It had an upstairs studio with a Neve console and it was beautiful and it had a downstairs studio with this big old API. And part of the perk of being intern is that although the pay doesn't exist, you can occasionally scheme some downtime. So while Ben was upstairs recording with whoever, I had a couple of friends come into the downstairs. And this was a basement, but the house was built on a hill, so you had a door that swung out into this really sketchy alley behind the place. And these guys had brought all kinds of instruments and uh, keyboards and organs and things in this big pickup truck, and they had just backed the pickup truck up to the, the back basement door in this sketchy alley. And we unloaded everything and we got working. And Ben knew I was downstairs, but somehow at some point when he finished his session, he probably had one of those long days as well. Just slipped his mind. And on the way out, beep, 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 set the alarm. And we went on recording in the basement. None the wiser. Till we decided to take a quick break. And we stepped outside and the alarm went off and we could hear it. And so I called Ben and said, hey, what do I do? The alarm's going off. I'm an intern, man. I thought this was the end of me already. And he said, okay, so uh, go shut it off. Here's the code. And when the security company calls, this is the, the magic word that lets them know you're cool. And just like that, I shut off the alarm, the security company called, I gave them the magic word that said I was cool. Once again, we roll on until we're in the middle of a take and that basement studio door goes And I thought, oh, I guess we didn't latch it. Maybe the wind pushed it open. So I jumped out from behind the console and ran over and gave it a kick and slammed it shut and it almost instantly flew open. And the first thing that registered in my mind was the barrel of a gun. And then the second thing that registered in my mind was that the gun was being held by a Nashville Metro police officer. Actually, I'm sorry, a Berry Hill police officer. And they had us all out the door quickly and up against the truck and we were frisked and we were patted down. And I think one of the things that really uh, saved us in this case was that the two, the two musicians had both kicked off their shoes. And I think these police officers recognized that if you had backed a pickup truck to a sketchy alley back door because you planned on unloading, uh, you probably weren't going to go barefoot into the crime scene. And that helped us out. But I thought about that story because I was asked, uh, well, all of the employees where I work were, were given a, a training. And one of the topics of the training was a time when you have experienced privilege. Write about it. And I had a few that came to mind I thought, you know what? I think that story could have gone very differently. So anyhow, that's my story. Happened three times, but only once did I have a, a gun trained at me. Interesting, right? Okay, well, I'll see you next time.